Welcome to the studios of WCMU Public Television. And on this episode of Quiz Central, we conclude our season with our grand championship game between Ludington and Roscommon. Coming up right after this. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Let's get today's match underway. Here is your first question on Quiz Central. Teddy Roosevelt. That is correct. Crimson. Yes, that answer is correct. Patella. Correct. Congratulations, Ludington. You are the Quiz Central Season 16 Grand Champions. Hello, everyone. I'm Matthew Ozanik, and welcome to the Grand Championship match on the 17th season of Quiz Central right here on WCMU. Today, we're going to be joined by students from Ludington and Ross Common. Now, both of these teams have performed exceptionally well this season and have answered a lot of questions correctly to get here, but now it all comes down to this. Also, the top teams from this season of Quiz Central will qualify for NAQT's High School National Championship Tournament. Our teams today will be independently challenged with an identical set of questions, and the school that answers the most questions correctly in the time allotted will be crowned the Quiz Central Season 17 Grand Champions. So let's not waste any time and get today's championship match underway. Our first round is the Maroon and Gold Rush. Our teams will have two minutes to answer as many questions correctly as they can. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. There's no deduction for incorrect answers. Students will be able to consult with their teammates on each question, but final answers will be coming from the team's captain. Ludington, you're up first. So here comes your first question in today's Maroon and Gold Rush. What property that has an inclusive form involving kin selection is, according to Charles Darwin, maximized by those organisms most likely to survive? Uh, fitness. Finally. Can you repeat that, Aiden? Fitness. 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 I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to accept that. On to the next question. John F. Kennedy established what award, which, along with the Congressional Gold Medal, is America's highest civilian honor? Pass. Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor. Incorrect. Next question. What Hungarian-born rival of William Randolph Hearst published the New York World and lends his name to prizes for the arts and journalism? Pulitzer. Pulitzer. Correct. What numerical term refers to the interval between Baba and Black Sheep in the nursery rhyme or the interval between C and F? Third. Third, uh, third is incorrect. Next question. What street, which includes the so-called Canyon of Heroes, crosses Manhattan's grid system and is the namesake of New York City's theater district? Broadway. Broadway. Correct. Communist infighting on what small Caribbean island nation prompted the U.S. to evade it in, invade it in 1983? Cuba. Cuba. Incorrect. Next question. What title character learns that he is the nephew of Squire Allworthy and subsequently marries Sophia Western in a 1749 novel by Henry Fielding? Pass. What novel in which a rotten goose egg acquired by the rat Templeton causes stench to fill Wilbur's barn is an E.B. White book named for a spider? Charlotte's Web. Sure. Correct. What year's presidential election, which included the Constitution... Oh, sorry, that bell's going to indicate the end of the round, so we're not going to be able to get to that last question. Ludington struggles a tad in the opening round with three correct answers and 30 points. Now, Ross Common, let's see how your team fares in the maroon and gold rush. Let's put two minutes back up on the clock. What property that has an inclusive form involving kin selection is, according to Charles Darwin, maximized by those organisms most likely to survive? Um, natural selection. Natural selection is incorrect. Next question. John F. Kennedy established what award, which, along with the Congressional Gold Medal, is America's highest civilian honor? Uh, the Medal of Freedom. Correct. 
What Hungarian-born rival of William Randolph Hearst published the New York World and lends his name to prizes for the arts and journalism? Pulitzer. Correct. What numerical term refers to the interval between Baba and Black Sheep in the nursery rhyme or the interval between C and F? Uh, fourth. Fourth is correct. What street, which includes the so-called Canyon of Heroes, crosses Manhattan's grid system and is the namesake of New York City's theater district? Broadway. Correct. Communist infighting on what small Caribbean island nation prompted the U.S. to invade it in 1983? Uh, <clears throat> Granada. That is correct. What title character learns that he is the nephew of Squire Allworthy and subsequently marries Sophia Western in a 1749 novel by Henry Fielding? Tom Jones. Correct. What novel in which a rotten goose egg acquired by the rat Templeton causes stench to fill Wilbur's barn is an E.B. White book named for a spider? Charlotte's Web. Correct. What year's presidential election, which included the Constitutional Union Party, led to the secession of southern states after Abraham Lincoln won? 1860. Correct. In what decade of the 1900s did Charles de Gaulle return to power as the French Fourth Republic collapsed during the Algerian crisis? Um, the 1940s. 40s is incorrect. Oh, that bell is going to signify the end of the round. Ross Common able to get eight correct answers in the opening round, which means we wrap up our maroon and gold rush with Ludington 30, Ross Common 80. And for the questions that were missed in that round, the property with an inclusive form involving kin selection was fitness. And the decade that Charles de Gaulle returned to power was the 1950s. Ross Common starts off our game with a sizable lead after the first round, but there is still lots of Quiz Central left to play. And right now, we're going to take a break and meet our players from each of today's schools. Let's start with the students from Ludington High School. My name is Annalisa Smith. I'm a senior at Ludington High School, and I play bass in the jazz band. Hi, my name is Jack McWicky. I'm a senior at Ludington High School, and I'm planning on going into cybersecurity. Hi, my name is Lucas Thibault. I'm a senior at Ludington High School, and I play almost tax in the jazz band. Hello, my name is Aiden Tomorrow. I'm a senior at Ludington High School, and my favorite color is magenta. All right, thank you very much, Ludington. Now, the team from Roscommon, take it away. I'm Jackson Theo. I'm a senior at Roscommon High School, and I run cross country, play baseball, and in student council, and in band. Hi, I'm Terrence Holshausen. I'm a junior here at RHS, and I'm part of the Boy Scouts, and I do band. I'm Alex. I'm a sophomore. I play soccer, basketball, and baseball. I'm Joshua Jacobs. I'm a senior, and I play soccer and baseball, and I'm student council. All righty. Now that you've had a chance to meet everyone, let's head into the next round of competition, the Perfect Ten. In this round, our teams will be given a category, and they'll have 60 seconds to answer as many questions correctly as they can. And our Perfect Ten category for today's championship game is Movies by the Numbers. Given an incomplete movie title and one of its stars, give the number that begins the title. Ludington, we're going to start this round off with you, so let's put 60 seconds on the clock as we head into the perfect 10. Glenn Close, blank Dalmatians. 101. Correct. Keir Dulia, blank, a space odyssey. 2000. Correct. 2000. Jonah Hill, blank, jump street. 21. 21. 21. Correct. Heath Ledger, blank, things I hate about you. 10. Correct. Marilyn Monroe, the blank year itch. 7. 7. Correct. Katherine Heigl, blank, dresses. 27. Correct. Zach Efron, blank again. 21. 17. 17 is correct. Brad Pitt, Blank monkeys. Twelve. Twelve. Correct. James Franco, blank hours. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Incorrect. Eminem, blank mile. Eight. Eight. Correct. All right. Ludington has a great perfect ten round with nine correct answers for 90 points, bringing their score to 120. It's now Ross Common's turn to add to their score in the perfect 10, so let's put 60 seconds back up on the clock. Glenn Close, blank Dalmatians. 
101. Correct. Kier Doulet, blank, a space odyssey. 2001. Correct. Jonah Hill, blank, Jump Street. 21. Correct. Heath Ledger, blank, Things I Hate About You. 10. Correct. Marilyn Monroe, The Blank Year Itch. 7. Correct. Katherine Heigl, blank, Dresses. Um, uh, shoot, what is it? Oh, shoot, no answer. Zach Efron, blank again. 17. Correct. Brad Pitt, blank monkeys. Uh, five. Incorrect. James Franco, blank hours. 24. Incorrect. Eminem, blank mile. Eight. Correct. Ross Common finishes out their perfect 10 with 70 points, bringing their total to 150. And there was only one perfect 10 answer that was missed. James Franco was the star of 127 hours. Now with two rounds in the books, our score has tightened with Lettington 120, Ross Common 150. In this round, I'll be asking each team a series of random questions. Team members will be able to consult with each other and final answers will be coming from the team's captain. We're gonna start with Ludington in today's home stretch round. So Ludington, here comes your first question. What thinker is traditionally considered the author of the five classics, had his teachings collected in the An Analiques, and, it, and was a Chinese philosopher? Confucius. Confucius. Correct. The Marquis of Pombal helped create what capital city that was leveled by an earthquake and tsunami on All Saints Day in 1755? Lisbon. Lisbon. Correct. What series in which the gelatinous engineer Yafit serves under Ed Mercer is a live action show starring Seth MacFarlane that parodies Star Trek? I'm pretty sure that's the Orville. I think it might be Firefly, but... Which one do you want me to go with? Or Orville. Go with Orville. Orville. The Orville? Correct. What set of classical Greek marble sculptures are displayed at the British Museum despite the Greek government's requests for their return? E, it starts with E. The Elvian? No. We need something. The Elvian? Uh, sorry, incorrect. Uh. Next question. What city, which names a type of steel characterized by wavy flow-like bands, was the capital of the Umayyad Caliphate and is the capital of Syria? Damascus. 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 Correct. What programming language, often used for scientific purposes, was developed by John Backus at IBM and released in 1957? C-sharp. C-sharp. Incorrect. Next question. What native tribe, known in their language as the Diné, has the nation's largest reservation and had members serve in World War II as code talkers? Navajo. Navajo. Correct. Madison Bumgarner threw an unofficial seven-inning no-hitter in 2021 as a member of what National League West team, sometimes called the Snakes? Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks. Correct. What element from which most MRI machines detect signals has isotopes with mass numbers two and three and is the most abundant element in the universe? Hydrogen. 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 Correct. What name is shared by a Danish jewelry company that makes customizable bracelets and a music streaming service bought by Sirius XM in 2019? Pandora. Pandora. Correct. What U.S. city was the site of the 12th Street race riot in 1967, includes one end of the Ambassador Bridge, and was the first headquarters of Motown? Detroit. Detroit. Detroit's correct. In Geoffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, a body wife from what English city gives an account of her five marriages? London. Pass. Pass. Next question. What objects, examples of which include the Z-grill and inverted Jenny, are studied and collected by fi filists and used to pay for mail postage? Stamps. 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 Correct. Oh, with that bell's gonna signify the end of the round. Ludington has a strong home stretch round, answering 10 questions correctly for 100 points, bringing their total now to 220. 
We turn to Roscommon now to see how they'll handle the home stretch round. Roscommon, here comes your first home stretch question. What thinker is traditionally considered the author of the five classics, had his teachings collected in the Analeks, and was a Chinese philosopher? Confucius. Correct. The Marquis of Pombal helped rebuild what capital city that was leveled by an earthquake and tsunami on All Saints Day in 1755? Lisbon. Correct. What series in which the gelatinous engineer Yafit serves under Ed Mercer is a live action show starring Seth MacFarlane that parodies Star Trek? Orville. Correct. What set of classical Greek marble sculptures are displayed at the British Museum despite the, the Greek- Elgin marbles. The Elgin Marbles is correct. What city, which names a type of steel characterized by wavy flow-like bands, was the- Damascus. Damascus is correct. What programming language, often used for scientific purposes, was developed by John Backus at IBM and released in 1957? Uh, C++. Incorrect, next question. What native tribe, known in their language as the Diné, has the nation's largest reservation and had members serve in World War II as code talkers? Navajo. Correct. Madison Bumgarner threw an unofficial seven-inning no-hitter in 2021 as a member of what National League West team, sometimes called the Snakes? Uh, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Correct. What element from which most MRI machines detect signals has isotopes with mass numbers two and three and is the most abundant element? Hydrogen. Hydrogen's correct. What name is shared by a Danish jewelry company that makes customizable bracelets and a music streaming service bought by Sirius XM in 2019? Pandora. Pandora's correct. What U.S. city was the site of the 12th Street Race Riot in 1967, includes one end of the Ambassador Bridge, and was the first Detroit. head... Detroit. Detroit's correct. In Geoffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, a body wife from what English city gives an account of her five marriages? Bath. Bath is correct. What objects, examples of which include the Z grill and inverted Jenny, are studied and collected by philolists and used to Stamps. pay... Stamps is correct. What current president of the Philippines announced that he would run for vice president in the country's 2022 elections? Uh, no answer. What character secedes Finis Valerum as Supreme Chancellor after the invasion of Naboo and later lures Anakin Skywalker to the Senator dark side? Palpatine. Palpatine's correct. Santiago digs for treasure at the foot of the Egyptian pyramids in what 1988 pa Paulo Coelho novel, whose title character can turn lead into gold? The Alchemist. Correct. Oh, that bell's gonna signify the end of the round. Ross Common answers right back in the home stretch round, adding 140 points to their score, which brings their team up to 290 points. And here are the answers that were missed in the home stretch round. The programming language developed by John Backus that was released in 1957 was Fortran. And the current president of the Philippines running for VP in 2022 is Rodrigo Duarte. With three rounds in the books, our score is Ludington 220, Roscommon 290. We now head into the final round of the day, the final countdown. Our teams will have just two minutes to answer as many questions as they can with correct answers still being worth 10 points apiece. Ludington, you're up first in the final countdown, so let's put two minutes on the clock. And here comes your first question. Phototherapy, also called light therapy, is a potential treatment for what psychological condition also treated with SSRIs and MAOIs? Epilepsy. Alzheimer's. Oh. Epilepsy. No, incorrect. Next question. A harp's highest pitch strings are often made of what polymer? discovered by Wallace Carruthers while searching for a replacement for silk. Kevlar. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, say nylon. Nylon. Correct. What Austrian, who names an equation for the evolution of a wave function, created a thought experiment involving a cat that is both alive and dead? Schrodinger. Schrodinger. Correct. What game, the summer national sport of Canada, is played by the Iroquois Nationals and involves cradling a rubber ball with a netted stick? Lacrosse. Lacrosse. Correct. 
What city contains the Aqua Residential Tower, is the site of Frank Lloyd Wright's Roby House in Hyde Park, and has apartments on Lakeshore Drive? Chicago. Chicago. Correct. What type of triangle has exactly two sides of equal length? Isosceles. Isosceles. Correct. A product originally made on Louisiana's Avery Island is named after what Mexican state whose capital is Villa Hermosa? That just Pass. Like he... Pass. Next question. What country where the Sheraton move led to Mahathir Mohammed's resignation is a constitutional monarchy in Southeast Asia led from Kuala Lumpur? Cambodia. Cambodia. Incorrect. What volcanic glass formed from the rapid cooling of lava was used to make many pre-Columbian tools? Obsidian. 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 Correct. What novel in which Dr. Seward preserves documents assembled by Mina begins as Jonathan Harker travels to the... Oh, sorry, that bell's going to signify the end of the round, so we're not going to be able to get to that last question. Thank you, Luddington. Great job. All right, Luddington finishes out their game with 280 points. Now, Ross Common, it's your turn to enter the final countdown. Here comes your first question. Phototherapy, also called light therapy, is a potential treatment for what psychological condition, also treated with SSRIs and MAOIs? Um, PTSD. Incorrect. Next question. A harp's highest pitch strings are often made of what polymer, discovered by Wallace Carruthers while searching for a replacement for silk? Nylon. Correct. What Austrian, who names an equation for the evolution of a wave function, created a thought experiment involving a cat that is both alive and dead? Schrodinger. That is correct. What game, the summer national sport of Canada, is played by the Iroquois Nationals and involves cradling a rubber ball with a netted Lacrosse. stick? Lacrosse. Lacrosse is correct. What city contains the Aqua Residential Tower, is the site of Frank Lloyd Wright's Roby House in Hyde Park, and has apartments on Lakeshore Drive? Chicago. Correct. What type of triangle has exactly two sides of equal length? Isosceles. Correct. A product originally made on Louisiana's Avery Island is named after what Mexican state whose capital is Villa Hermosa? Uh... No answer. What country where the Sheraton move led to Mahatmir Mohammed's resignation is a constitutional monarchy in Southeast Asia led from Kuala Lumpur? Malaysia. Correct. What volcanic glass formed from the rapid cooling of lava was used to make many pre-Columbian tools? Uh, obsidian. Correct. What novel in which Dr. Seward preserves documents assembled by Mina begins as Jonathan Harker travels to the sinister castle, sinister castle of the title vampire. Dracula. Correct. Castle on the Hill and Shape of You were singles from what- Ed Sheeran. Oh, uh, no, sorry, Divide. That's correct. What man whose prosecution was led by Keith Ellison instead of Mike Freeman was sentenced to over 22 years in prison? Oh, sorry, we're not gonna be able to get to the rest of that uh, question since that bell is gonna signify the end of the round. Ross Common able to add 90 points to their score in that final countdown, which means that our season 17 Quiz Central Grand Champions is the team from Ross Common High School. Congratulations, Ross Common. And to wrap up those final countdown questions that we missed, phototherapy, also called light therapy, is a potential treatment for depression. And that product originally made in Louisiana was Tabasco sauce. And once again, our season 17 Quiz Central Grand Champions are the students from Ross Common High School. Congratulations. And we, of course, want to extend our congratulations to Ludington High School for an outstanding season and for making it all the way to our Grand Championship. Seniors, good luck to all of you in the future. And underclassmen, we hope to see you right back here in the next season of Quiz Central. And we hope all of you will join us again on next season of Quiz Central. And as a reminder, all episodes of Quiz Central are archived online at WCMU.org. From the crew here at WCMU Public Television, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all right back here next season on Quiz Central. Good night. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University-owned and operated CMU Bookstore. 
online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.